Alright, so this is going to be a guide for installing DG Voodoo into Aliens vs Predator 2 and a, a different way for installing the shader into the Aliens vs Predator uh, folder. This is neat to be done in this game specifically due to needing to recognize a certain file there so that the shader can properly set itself up internally. Uh, so the first thing you need to do is go to dev3d.info click on view on github click on code and download the zip file All right, open that file up, grab these, go to shaders and grab these two files or these two files or all three. Copy, paste this here. This has to be done. Uh, delete that. Made a mistake there. Alright, but you do have to install these follow these uh, shaders into this directory. Like I said, this is needed because it has to recognize a certain file in here so to work properly. Um, okay, next thing we need to do is download Reshade and go to reshade.me, click the download button up here and this is the bottom click on this hit OK and click save the next thing you need to do is go to DG uh, DEGE freeweb.hu for so that you can download DG Voodoo 2 which is the current version 2.8.2 save alright we got all these files here, so let's open up Reshape. Hit OK. I'm going to click on Browse. I'm going to click on Alien vs. Predator 2. You have to search for the or go to the folder that this is installed on. So for me, it's C Programs x86 Aliens vs. Predator 2. Click on abp2.exe. Click that. Click Next. Click Yes. Click on DX10 11 12. Click next and skip and skip and finish. Alright, so now the second thing you need to do is install DG Voodoo. Let's uh let's extract all first. Alright. Alright, so we're gonna go to MS x86. Click on these two files since these are the two that you need. Copy them. Go to N versus Predator 2. Paste that there. Continue. Continue. Um, once you have that installed, it, it's pretty much ready, but we're going to do a little bit more. We're going to go to back to this folder, click on this, and we're going to right click this and open up as administrator. Normally, you don't want to do this, but in this case, I have it on that one drive, so I have to specifically do it for this case. If not, you can always like generate it here, then drag it over. But let's add the uh, Alien vs. Predator program, uh, folder. Click select folder. It's added. Uh, let's switch this to 1024. Don't make this app driven. Make turn that to all. Resolution unforced. Since you, if you set it up properly, it should work properly. Um, if you install the Alien vs. Predator 2 in the the online mod or whatever it's called. It should work properly with 4K. Uncheck the TG Voodoo watermark. You can play around with these other settings, but I don't. I don't really mess with that. Hit apply. Hit OK. Actually, generate really quick. Just make sure everything's right. That's that's all right. Uh, we can hit OK now. That should be fine. And now you just launch the game up. There's a little. There's an extra step. Uh, let's click on home. This is 4K. I'm going to increase the size of this just so, just so you can read. 
What's going on? All this other stuff is optional. Alright, on home, click tutorial. And we're just going to select Super Depth 3D. We're going to raise this up since we're at 4K. And first thing I'm going to do is increase this divergence for myself. I, in this game, I have it set to 100. Um, you actually can make it go to 125, but it's, it's just basically down to your preference. The next thing you need to do is go to where it says Weapon Hand Adjust, click on where it says Read Help and Change Me, and click on Alien vs. Predator 2. The second one, which is Work in Progress, is because I had to make a, a optional setting just in case Primal Hunt is different. I doubt it. Uh, let's see how this works. And once you're done with that, you can also... Um, you can also set like your different outputs if you want or other changes at the bottom depending on you know what, what you're doing all right so since we got that i'm gonna apply performance mode and press home again and let's uh launch the game so we're gonna go to oh if it's side by side like that there's another thing you can do uh, might as well show you now so since I don't have my mouse cursor on that, we need to make a mouse cursor or have Super Depth 3 have its own mouse cursor. So we're going to change this to reticle and that's the reticle that's in there. And we're going to enable cursor lock, let it go lock it to the center. Um, so if you have mouse uh, 4 or whatever mouse 4 you can unlock it so you can like click on whatever you want but then you can lock it back in there too so that you have a reticle in game yeah that can be changed in the options you just need to read so we're going to click on single player low game actually i don't have a game apparently uh so we're going to marine new game the marine and it's launched Let's uh, skip past this. There seems to be a glitch, maybe because of VC. It seems like it went away. Old games and DJ Voodoo may not always work properly. But it should be in stereo 3D, so it should be working now. Um, there was a note on the PC Gaming Wiki where there's a lot of dynamic lights, your performance may drop. I seem to be running close to 60 here on a, on a laptop GPU, so it's not too bad at 4K. Um, there's other things you can do to improve performance, but this is, uh, this is what we get. Um, other thing, if you have the menu key, you can see that get extra information, it says to set your weapon, and the bottom left it says needs DG Voodoo 2. You do need DG Voodoo 2 so this can work properly. And uh, so let me play the game a little bit since, uh, let's see, uh, I think we have to press H here yet. I played this a long time ago. Okay. Uh, I think, th I think this explodes in the Blocks you, and I don't quite remember. I know. Oh, yes, yeah, yes. Yeah. This is locked. Oh, he's not going to be in Alien vs. Predator 3. Alright. Mr. Predator has some lunch. It's a bit of a dark game. Ah, oh, it seems to be glitching. I wonder if that's V-Sync. Yeah. Look at options. Graphics. V-Sync's off. Oh, no. There may be some DG Voodoo issue. 
What if it shows up in that? That is weird though. Let me turn off the thing. Huh. Probably have to look into that. That's the... Oh. Huh, it literally doesn't seem to be happening outside for some reason. I also read that DG Voodoo 55.2 or 255.2 uh, is supposed to be more stable, but use that at your own risk. Not quite sure, I don't quite remember. I think I did it somewhere around here. So. Well, anyways, there you go. It's the. Uh, that's how it works. Yeah. Let me just check something really quick. On a board game, I'm gonna try the Predator. This menu is really small in the middle because this game wasn't really made in the time where they had super high resolutions. And like glitching seems to be happening again. Skip that up. There we go. It looks like the weapon in hand is also working properly. Alright, and that's, that's actually pretty cool. It seems to be working fine. Alright, and then yeah, board game. Alright, and I guess that's it. Enjoy your game. I'm gonna look into Wild Hunt when I get a chance. And put that later. Alright, good luck.